Okay, so great question on what if I, you know, for, and, and the example is, let's say I want to, uh, there's a house I would love. I'd love a house with, for example, a garden um, and space and an upstairs, an upstairs bedroom. And I'd like to sort of manifest that, but I've also got a lot of negative messages. You know, money doesn't grow in trees or, you know, um, it's going to take a lot of work, a lot of effort. Um, and also, you know, there is uh, the thing of not wanting to change one's career or anything in a way. So as to go through hardship to get the, this, um, you know, this uh, property with the criteria that one wants. So, um, and uh, so, you know, my thing with, uh, that's true, I would agree. Everyone on, on this planet has got lots of negative messages around money and abundance. So, I mean, the Course in Miracles or what, what we do here in the group, like I cancel my belief that money doesn't grow in trees. I cancel my belief I'm not entitled to a lovely, a lovely home. I cancel my belief uh, that uh, living in a nice home is uh, unspiritual. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. So these uh, daily cancellations of the beliefs or any course lesson, um, I, uh, for example, instead of this belief that I'm not entitled to a nice living home, uh, I could see peace or I pray for a miracle to see my lack of uh, entitlement to a, a, a lovely home differently. So any course lesson or, uh, or God is a love in which I forgive my parents for giving me the message that uh, money doesn't grow in trees or God is a love in which I forgive other people who've got better homes than me, whatever it is that is blocking uh, or creating a resistance or creating a low vibration within you. Doing all of this is going to increase the likelihood of uh, the home materializing. Now, also the other thing to do, the thing of, um, uh, and Hawkins does says, what one tends to hold in mind tends to manifest. So, if there is the holding in mind of, of a nice home with a garden, then that, if that's held in mind, that tends to manifest. However, you know, negative belief systems, low levels of consciousness, karma, and negative baggage uh, may not make it happen or may not happen, it may not happen in, or it may happen in a bad way. So doing spiritual work, um, say you know from my uh, if if that was if that was an image that was coming to mind and i thought that was a spiritual image rather than an ego uh an ego image uh coming into mind it, it was, is, is that image more arising from my ego and and will striving for it um create ego inflation in which case i'd probably try and let it go or if it's more of a divine spiritual thing of abundance uh, and also feeling of spiritual uh, the spiritual calling to be there, then uh, I would uh, then hold it in mind and uh, actually hold it in mind not very often, probably very rarely and very loosely. Um, I wouldn't want to want, I wouldn't want the energy of wanting it because that would be the craving energy. So if I crave something, even if I get it, it's still I'm in bondage. You know, I'll still be in the energy of wantingness, you know, like uh, and that I have a lack right now. So I definitely can't use the course or cancelling beliefs to transcend any idea that what I've got isn't enough. I'd probably do gratitude list to be grateful with what I have. I'd probably every, every now and then just picture the, the, the place. But otherwise, I would just um, continue with intense spiritual work, not related to getting that place, but more in just general spiritual work. Because... Um, someone at a very high vibration is on a lot of spiritual work in letting go of their attachments, desires, cravings, anything of the ego and dissolved it. If they do hold a picture in mind, because they're at such a high vibration, connected to so much power, those things tend to happen very, very rapidly. Um, if you're at a low vibration full of resentments and negative belief systems, then you may, you know, try and visualize it and want it as much as you want, but it may not, you know, it may be, it seem very difficult to achieve that. So, so definitely general clearing work. Um, like Hawkins uh, would often have uh, images flash into mind, they would appear quite rapidly. 
So that's someone at a very, you know, hasn't got much negative beliefs on any negative baggage and is more like a pure channel of divine grace. So if a picture does arise with such power behind it uh, and such purity of consciousness, then they tend to happen very quickly. Someone at a low level of consciousness with tons of resentments and negative beliefs and full of craving for a, for a place, you know, can sort of probably visualize it as much as they want. But, you know, it, it may be difficult. So, uh, you know, I would, I would, if that seemed to be a spiritual inspiration for me, uh, having a house with a garden, my own house with a garden, then I would clear all my negative beliefs around money. I would uh, clear all my resentments with my current living situation. My, and and uh, also probably, um, you know, God is a love in which I love my current house. God is a love in which I love my furniture. God is a love. I'm grateful, you know, for what I have. So that would elevate my vibration. Uh, and uh, also I'd want to get to a place, whether I have the new place or not, it, it's, it's it, you know, it's, I'm happy to be in this place. I'm also be happy to be in a place with a garden. So that means, you know, I'm deleting all the belief systems around it. Then if a picture or, or an image, I hold a picture of uh, a lovely home with a garden, it's more likely to happen because there isn't any blocks. And it's not really something that my ego is trying to uh, force out of the universe. So uh, yeah, those would be some of the some of the some of the things that I would do around um, letting go. Okay, I'm going to stop recording. <laughs>